We have about uh, 20 minutes before the pre-opening rates kick in. Sanjeev Bhasin, director at IFL Securities, is joining us now. Sanjeev, hi. Good morning. Uh, the uh, you know the mojo of this market was sort of came to a halt right after Infis and TCS's numbers. So you're taking a bit of a breather now. But how are you feeling about the market? Do you think that this could be a bit of a lull period, or is the second half looking like it's going to be really exciting? What's the sense you're getting? Yeah, good morning, Sonia. So, you know, uh, we were grossly oversold at 16, 18, 800. The pessimism was at its highest. The first 10 or 12 days of, uh, 15 days of uh, April have made up all the oncoming un of, uh, uh, you know, February, March. I think uh, we are headed for a super close on April. And believe me, in, my, in May, we hit new highs. So this is nothing. 16, 800 was grossly oversold. 17,500 is the equilibrium. Now, when we get past 18,500, then we'll talk of a bull market. So I think that uh, on all parameters, India stands to stand out, uh, notwithstanding the little uh, of uh, damp color by TCS and uh, uh, Infosys is made up by DLF and Godrej property, two of my favorite stocks. So uh, like I said, I'm sticking my neck out. Next week is going to be superb and May is going to be 15th of May. We, you might see new highs on the on the index coming very 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 fast with bank nifty leading the charge sanjeev hi good morning good to have you back we're seeing you after a break uh and that was the mojo which was missing uh, so i think the mojo should be back now uh interesting uh new highs in may uh, uh, uh new all-time highs i think about five or six percent away on the nifty right and the bank nifty it's uh, almost uh, similar i mean four five percent uh which are the stocks or sectors to focus on sanjeev uh, because you've got a, uh, you got your eye on a wide range of uh, stocks as well, which should lead this move higher. So, so Prashant, if you see the undertone, like Sonia pointed out, maybe the index has flattened out in the last three days due to the pressure of Infosys and some of the mutual funds balancing their book. But look at the mid caps; they have been a star performers. Look at DLF all-time new highs. Godrej property up forty percent. Similar is the case with some of the PSU banks, uh, Bank of Baroda 180. I think it is going to be metals. The dollar is headed to below 100. It is going to hit 98. The Fed pricing in of the bond yields of two-year, 10-year differential is at the lowest. And that's telling you a rate cut by June, July is very much on the cards. Secondly, uh, inflation, no rate hike in India puts us in a sweet spot. And earnings are going to be the barometer. The last but not least, uh, Prashant, it's the retail flows. It's not the FI money. It's the retail flows, which is the backbone of this market. So metals, cement, banks, uh, you have a, a real estate. And I think the broader market is going to definitely outperform. But uh, make no bones, I think 18,150 will be crossed. And then you'll, lo you'll be looking at new highs before we can think about it in the, in the, by the middle of May. Mm. Hi, Sanjeev. Good morning. Good to speak to you after a while. Well, you know, I was using this cricket uh, analogy yesterday. About two batsmen are batting in there. The Nifty Bank is in fine form, but the IT index is a little bit off color. What's your view on that space? You know, because uh, that's not able to score any runs. In fact, it's getting bold every time. But a big correction from the top. What do you do with the IT stocks? Is Sanjeev Basin a buyer into them? Well, select stocks. I've been always telling you that HCL Tech, Tech Mahindra, Persistent are three stocks we bought. They gave very, very handsome returns recently. Uh, we are now overweight on metals. We are looking at stocks like uh, Grasim, Hindalco, Tata Steel, Larsen and Dubro. I mean, where visibility is far more greater. And these are all sectors and stocks where I think you should be looking for very, very strong gains. <clears throat> like I told you, the smart money will shift from the... IT to the uh, these uh, cyclical sectors. Plus, Nigel, I think the weakness in the rupee was overdone. If the rupee is mm. now not a, head, a tailwind but a headwind, then IT may remain status quo for some time. So I would not okay. get into buying Infosys right now. But HCL Tech, Tech Mahindra and Persistent can be three stocks you can do a sip in. HCL Tech, Tech Mahindra and Infosys, you said. Per uh, sorry, Persistent, you said, right? But HCL Tech, do you want to wait and watch? I mean, the numbers are tomorrow. So, before giving your recommendation, do you want to see the numbers and the management uh, commentary? No, Sonia, you'll be surprised. HCL Tech may come out with the strongest numbers. And if I am correct, there could be a corporate event. So, I think oh. HCL Tech uh, would fit the bill as being an outperformer in the IT sector rather than an underperformer. 
It has anyway been an outperformer from those level of 920 when it hit 1120. I am looking at HCL Tech being one of the top uh, performers in the large cap stocks. Okay. Uh, what about autos? Now, suddenly autos are coming back. Uh, CLSA put out an interesting note yesterday where they said not only are prices looking attractive, but demand is also resilient. Uh, are you buying any of the stocks now? Well, if you forgot, forgot last last when we met, Bosch and uh, Bosch and Tata Motor were two of my top picks, along with DLF and Godrej property. I think Tata Motor is going to surprise on the upside. Bosch is anyway hitting new highs. I will not even sell that stock at twenty four thousand. So that's the type of bullishness. Sonia, you know, in all these humdrum, people have missed the woods for the trees. France, Germany, the UK market are all hitting new highs. And major of the business of Bosch and uh, Tata Motor is stemming from there. If you can uh, take a little bit of risk, Mother Sun gives you a very good opportunity as an OEM because Europe is rebounding. I think autos are just starting off. And even though in India we've had uh, some plateauing, I think Maruti can take the cake on the price uh, on the passenger vehicle and, and Tata Motor. These two would be my top performers from here. Mm. <clears throat> Sanjeev, any... Uh... Uh, Tadakedar uh, mid cap small cap picks uh, that uh, that you have your eyes on you always have one or two for us for our viewers that you think should uh, poise very well so prashant in october i gave you anupam rasayan at 740 and uh, despite markets going nowhere anupam has hit new highs up 45 percent uh, my top pick again uh, would be a stock <clears throat> which i think can be an outperformer but uh, you know, SW Solar, you just spoke to the previous gentleman on renewables and uh, solar PVs. SW Solar is owned 40% by Reliance Energy. It has got a 18 crore equity. It had an order book of 800 crore the last year. This year, they're doing 4,000 crore. They are an EPC provider with nil debt, 12% of margins. And they are saying their book can double in the next two years, which means you're talking of 10, 12,000 crore as an order book. Plus, we know that EPC, they are the third largest in the world. And with the ascent on uh, PV and solar, I think they are a no-brainer. They got a very big order from NTPC. They are anticipating a two big orders in the month of end of April. I think at 300 rupees, this stock can double and it will double by Diwali. Mm -hmm. So if you want, I can stick my neck out. In large caps, I am very, very bullish on Grasim, the largest player in viscose uh, staple fiber, viscose uh, filament yarn, which is doing extremely well their chemical textile business and the you know holding company of ultratech and uh, ab capital along with that i think tata steel indalco jsw all fit the bill so i would be overweight metals and i think they can surprise you on the upside all right uh, sanjeev it's a pleasure thank you very much for sharing those names with us sterling and winston sw solar as uh, sanjeev pointed out is that name uh, and of course good call with anupam earlier Thanks indeed uh, for joining us, uh, Sanjeev, and uh, we will speak with you uh, soon again. Thanks indeed. We'll take a very quick break here. We'll come back. Midesh and Sudarshan will be with us with some technical trading ideas. Uh, so stay tuned. More uh, calls, more trades coming up on the other side.